Good morning, YouTubers. How are you? Matt Hun here with MDH Technologies. Thank you for joining me again this morning to uh, have a quick discussion. I greatly appreciate your time. I'm glad you're here. I hope you're finding that uh, our videos uh, to be useful to you. So today I would like to have a quick discussion because I've been getting the question a lot, Matt. Should I upgrade to Windows 10? Great question. After all, the upgrade is free for many, for most, and uh, people want to know, should they take advantage of the upgrade? Well, by and large, the answer to that is highly dependent on the kind of system that you have and the kind of software that you're running. So let me give you a couple of quick examples. For example, if you have a lot of hardware modifications, um, like you've maybe built some high, highly custom gaming machine or uh, something along those lines, you'll want to take care to make sure that all of the components are Windows 10 compatible. Um, and then you have uh, the case where you may be using a lot of proprietary software. Uh, that could be an issue. Uh, now, Windows 10 very well may load on those types of environments, but uh, a lot of those applications may not be Windows 10 compatible and maybe won't work after moving to Windows 10. So that's something to think about as well. And especially in a business environment, um, you need to try to establish communication with vendors in that regard. Uh, and they ought to be able to tell you, yes, our application were under Windows 10 or this is what you have to do to get it to run on Windows 10. Uh, and, and, and Windows 10 has been out for a little while now. Um, most of the really good software companies uh, are uh, bringing their, their software up to snuff and um, you can run that stuff in a Windows and 10 environment. Now, uh, if you use a lot of old software uh, that you don't necessarily have an ongoing support agreement with or uh, that maybe isn't made anymore, that may be a pretty bad situation for you. Um, it's quite possible that that older stuff will just simply won't work. Um, so that's something to take take into account. Maybe there's a new version you can go to. Maybe there's an alternate program that you can use, uh, but certainly don't count on using applications that are very old. Um, now, <clears throat> you may after if you do upgrade to Windows 10, you may find that. There are certain drivers that aren't compatible. For example, printers and maybe older devices that you connect to your machine. Uh, or some of those things just may need to be reinstalled with newer drivers. So don't be surprised if you um, come across a, a minor glitch here or there. Most of those things can be worked through without too much difficulty. Now, once you... Um, have determined that yeah I, I do want Windows 10 um, then the first appropriate thing to do is to run the Windows compatibility appraiser now if you've got um, the uh, icon popping up there in the lower right hand corner by your clock asking you if you want to upgrade to Windows 10 um, then that compatibility appraiser is built into that and it ought to run before you, you uh, upgrade to Windows 10 anyway uh, and let you know if it finds any any um, issues there with with uh, respect to compatibility. So um, now I did want to share with you sort of our uh, recommended the MDH Tech approved way of upgrading existing machines to Windows 10. Now we typically recommend that uh, customers uh, purchase a program, maybe something similar to. Acronis True Image, which is an imaging software that will allow you to take the operating system from your machine and clone it onto a new hard drive. Okay, so the idea here is to um, get a new hard drive, great opportunity even for an upgrade to a solid state perhaps. Um, but at any rate, you get a, new, um, get a new hard drive, get a copy of uh, your, an imaging software like Acronis True Image. Uh, and then image the operating system onto the new drive, install it to the machine, boot it, use it, make sure it's working, and then um, perform 
the Windows 10 upgrade on the new drive. Uh, that's going to put a new disk in the machine at the same time that you upgrade the operating system, which really isn't a bad idea. Um, so if you're still using a traditional um, drive, uh, it's got moving parts in it. I recommend you, you get a, a solid state if you can. There's no moving parts. They're faster. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive and typically a little bit less storage available, but uh, because a lot of people have been moving to the cloud, a lot of those things are sort of non-issues. Um, there may be a little bit of cleaning up that that that, that uh, you need to do before moving to a solid state if you got tons of uh, tons of information. Um, but those are all things you can talk to your IT professional about. Um, so <clears throat> this way, if there's any issues with the upgrade, you can simply pop the old disk back into the machine and just boot it up and continue using it. And then um, you'll know for sure. Now, and that's only cost you the cost of the imaging software, which is going to come in handy anyway, and the cost of, of, of a new driver or solid state, which once again could come in handy anyway because you can use it for backups and other things. So um, th that's sort of the, uh, the approved method of uh, upgrading to Windows 10 on existing machines. And that's something we've developed here at MDH Tech. Uh, we've used that process uh, many times, and it seems to work very well for us. So... Short discussion today, but uh, that's really all I wanted to, uh, to talk about is uh, answer the question, should I upgrade to Windows 10? Um, not, uh, not an easy question to answer, yes or no. Um, it's sort of a, um, an assessment that needs to be done on a case-by-case -case basis, but I am certainly glad that you joined me uh, to, to talk about it. And uh, once again, my name is Matt Hunt with MDH Technologies. If you have found this video useful, I would ask that you share it with other folks. I ask that you subscribe to our channel and like the video. Uh, I greatly appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us.